What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pop-Up Dungeon. Now this game I kickstarted several years ago. In fact, I kickstarted it at such a high level that I get to design five characters and I haven't done it yet. So I really need to think about doing that, right? I need to design those five characters sometime soon. This is a tactical roguelike RPG inspired by tabletop games. Uh, it lets you create any ability, item, villain, hero, or game imaginable. Uh, I don't know how much we're gonna get into detail uh, with this quick play, uh, but I'm gonna go into this wizard's tower, probably the tutorial first, and then whatever's next, just to see what it's like. Just to give it a quick play for you guys to check it out. It's now available on Steam today. If you wanna get it, there should be a link in the description. Keep in mind, though, that I kickstarted this game, so I'm in the credits somewhere. I don't even know how to view the credits. Maybe when you beat the game, I don't know. Options? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, we'll figure that out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go ahead. I'm not gonna create anything. I'm just gonna play the game. You can create so many things, and it's just it's a little it's a little crazy. And also, this game has a lot of uh, celebrity voices in it. So take a look at this create option really quick. Let's just say we wanted to create a character. We could go in and 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 I get to do this at some point and actually be included in the game. So you select from like here are some uh, characters that already exist, right? Um, I should have, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't even know what I want to make. I don't even know. I don't even know, but look at all these character types. I mean, like, look at this guy. And you can do so many customizations. I mean, this game might be too advanced for me. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Let's go ahead and, um, uh, and start off the playing. Let's see what happens if we go into the Wizard's Tower tutorial, looks like. Confirm. And we'll see what this game is all about. Now, um, I like. it's Magnor, the warrior. Okay, cool. Uh, nope, sorry, let's go back. Con confirm party, this is a bat. This is this a very helpful bat. The question is, who is he helping? Begin the dialogue. Greet is Dingbat. Greetings, player, I am the Dingbat, servant of the wizard and your humble guide. Dingbat, that sounds like a made up name. Nope, it's a naturally occurring name. Now listen up, you only gotta learn this stuff once, but I gotta teach it to everyone. So let's keep things curt, shall we? All right, what is this? Pock Plank. Sounds, <laughs> is this an adult game? What is this? Too cool for school? You could always skip the tutorial at your own peril. Uh, I don't know about that. What about uh, lesson one? Dungeon not encounters. Uh, how do I whack the goblin? Let's let's start this uh, encounter here really quick. I do want to do some of the tutorial just so you guys get a good feel for the game along with me. Uh, here we go. Click to explore when not in combat. Look for me in the bottom left corner of the screen if you need guidance. Yikes. So this is I, I have a I can't see my mouse cursor. How do I enable that? But basically. Uh, Okay, I just, what did I do? So this is how you move around. Let me actually display the mouse cursor really quick. Uh, let's see. Capture cursor, there we go. Now you guys should be able to see the cursor. There it is. And then uh, this is me walking around and the walls I think come down. Uh, okay. Oh wow, this is so cool. I'm in a classroom or something, like this encounter. Okay, Magnor, what am I encountering? Goblin, deployment phase. Okay, there's me and the goblin. During deployment, you can click on a character to change their starting location. I'm good. We're gonna start the battle. Click and highlight a time to choose a new starting. Well, I think I'm pretty far. All right, when you're ready, click on the start battle on the lower left. I'm ready. Start the battle. This classroom thing's filling up. Before you chop this goblin into nuggets, there are a couple of bubbles I'd like uh, to introduce. The blue bubble uh, above an entity represents its action points. This is the mana go juice or general spunkiness that you use to move and activate abilities. The green bubble represents your maximum movement for this turn. And in case this is your first RPG ever, the bar represents your health. Uh, when it's empty, we put you in the recycle bin. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, thing bad. We in incinerate you and I breathe deep the sweet smoke of your ashes. <laughs> oh gosh, so here's a goblin. Here he comes. Alright, so... Oh, look, you go! That's a reactive ability. Reactive abilities go off when the conditions are met. Look for the tab above the card to see what kind of condition must be met. A red tab means it cannot be triggered on your turn. Alright. A blue tab means it can be triggered at any time. Look at that werewolf. That looks cool. 
So I guess I had a, a reactive ability to uh, to get him. Here comes the maelstrom. Here comes the maelstrom. Since I'm a helpful bat, I'll highlight your ability cards according to how useful they are given your situation. Uh, red is bad, green is good, blue is best. And if a card is gray, it can be used at the moment. Double click the card to automatically activate an ability. So I have a couple of cards here. This is taunting. It said red is best, right? Probably. Blue's best, chop. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. If enemy taunt, no, I want to chop. So I'm going to chop. Drag and drop, chop. Let's do it. How do I do it? Now that, I've, now that I have it, what do I do? Got him. Oh, he's gone. He's a goner. All right. And we got a new axe. All right. Equipment works the same way. Double click to automatically equip or drag up to release and customize custom Look, equipment. Give me more. The equipment you replace is automatically equipped so it can be sold or handed down. This is my old one, right? Red is bad. Sell it for eight gold. Yeah, there we go. All right, when all enemies in a level are defeated, click on the exit level button to progress. Okay, great. On to the next fight. So we went up, we went up against him. Level up at the end of a level, you'll gain new statistics and abilities. Tell me paper is worth a lot. There, it's mine. I licked it. Okay, evasion. Give it to me. My evasion went up. Okay, so that was a brief tutorial of the game. We can keep going, which I don't mind. Party time, what is this? Let's turn this party into a party. Get ready to choose a study buddy. All right, let's see. Uh, who's our study buddy? Do I get a stone standing in a field is worth a hundred lying on a mountain? Or in the wizard? Or is this my other study buddy? And Nola? A hunting party without a hunt. Let's let's have a hunt hunt a huntress. This is a uh, lesson two. More friends, more problems. It says. All right. We fight, then we feast. All right. So we can walk around for now. But we want to enter a room. That's when the action happens. An encounter happens. Okay, I get it. There's a goblin. There's another kobold. And then we got two people here. When deploying your party, check the turn order on the right side of the screen. So I go first, then the, then the two enemies, and then her. All right, so. I would like to, what, what do I do first? So I can move up here, and I wanna face that way. And then I can move her, and I'm gonna have her face this way too. She's a bit of a range character though, right? Let's start the battle, I think we're good. First we fight, then we feast. Drag up and release a card to, okay, custom activated disability. So chop is the best. All right, you are my target, my friend. Okay, we're good. Eh, this beats ruin. <laughs> Got him. Oh, he's not dead though, I was hoping he'd be dead. I'll still face him. And then I don't have any more card abilities, so we I guess we end the turn for him. Then the goblin gets a turn. He hits me with a card. Ouch. The kobold gets a turn as well. I've played Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop games and stuff before, but I'm not really that great at them. So, okay, so she, okay, charged abilities. Uh, like one shot, one kill could take a turn or more to activate. Don't tell the wizard I told you, but it's good to use them at the end of your turn. So we got Twang. So we can hit him with twang, right? From here. I don't need to get close. Yeah. Boom! Ah, took care of him pretty quickly, right? All right, pearl grip revolver, and then uh, one shot. So oh, we we get to go again. I have another thing. I don't. I can't use twang, but we could use this this shot over here. Here we go. Got him. I mean, she took care of a lot. We got some gold, and I believe we get to level up now. What is this? No, we get this. Uh, no, or this is old or new? I don't know. Let's sell it. Let's just sell it. It's just a tutorial anyway. We can sell it. All right. So what are we gonna do next? Um, let's see. Be sure to stop and smell the paper every now and then. 
You'll find useful posters and handouts scattered about the classroom. Would you like to go over some of them with you? No, I got this. No thanks, I got this. You got it, champ. And hey, if you're feeling stressed, try clicking on some props. Oh, there we go. It burned up. My bad. Exit level. Another village, another pillage. So if I have to create five characters for this game, <laughs> I mean, I might need to learn about this game. I hunt bargains too. Uh, gain the. She already has the ability twang, right? Save now. Good how, how do I use this? There we go. Got it. I don't know. Here we go. So, what is this? Three is a crowd. Do we want a third person? Let's see. Who are we going to add? He looks cute. <laughs> Conv convince the Enchantress. What is this guy? The Sarge. So, uh, no. We're going to get her because she's looking pretty good. Uh, except the challenge. So, what is this? What is this? I roll. Why am I rolling? 11. will be pleased. Okay. Oh, we convinced her. There she is. My wish is your command. Oh, so I had to convince her to join. Okay. So I had to roll for it. Okay. Except lesson three. Boss cat. Uh oh. There's a cat boss. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so we're gonna go in through Oh, let's open this chest here. Oh, we already had an encounter though. I thought we could open that chest. All right, so there's a couple of things here. Three things here, deployment phase. So, you know, he's gonna, I think he's gonna wanna be as close as we can. Well, I'll put him over here. He can, he can make it over there. And Nola is gonna be, I think she's fine to be kind of far off. And then where is uh, the Enchantress? Oh, she's over here. So I don't know what she does, but I'm gonna put her like right here. I only grant my own wishes. All right, let's start the battle. <laughs> Look at her body. Looking thick. Oh no, it's a dreaded cat knight. There it is, the cat knight. This skitty kitty has cat-like reflexes and will jump away when you try to attack it. So it has a uh, reaction. Okay. Okay, he'll let me figure out how to do it. That's fine. We'll take care of the other stuff first. All right, so. So I guess everyone has like a car. I'm skipping through some of this tutorial. So chop, we're just gonna chop this guy. All right, here we go. Oh, that was good. Kobold's down for the count. All right. And then, that well, I can move again. You can also use your action points to move. All right, sure, I'm moving closer, just just in case. End the turn. <laughs> look, at her, look at her. All right, uh, what's this? Oh, haste. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give her haste. Can I give it to her? You have the haste, because because Enola is pretty like pretty good. In the desert. What's this? Smart dispel. I'm gonna just end the turn. I don't know what to do. Cat Knight's turn. Watch out. The Cat Knight's walking up. So okay, there we go. Goblin gets a turn too. Will Goblin be able to get me? Goblin's no. All right. I'm gonna go. Okay, we're gonna use Twang. I'm gonna use it on him, and I'm just gonna stay here. Okay, that got him, not too bad. Let's have an arc shot, which does a little more damage. Let's uh, also use it on him from here. Oh, he's down, he's down. No, he's not, are you kidding me? Okay, let's do another one more shot. There we go, now he's gone, he's gotta be gone. All right. Snow globe, nice. Uh, we still got shots, dude. This is great. I'm gonna use it on. This may not work, but here we go. Fear resist evasion launch. Holy cow! Sure got away. Can I use this on him? He's too far back. All right, in the turn. I'll be honest, I'm a wee bit lost. All right, we're gonna use chop on him. See if that works. He might just this react and back up. <laughs> yeah, he's fear resisted evasion launch. So he went back. 
All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back then. If I can catch you, you're mine. Oh, I'm not facing him though. That's okay. In the turn. I'm not bound to any lamp. All right. Uh, let's do. Maybe I can charm if enemy dispel. Here, let me, let me walk up here. I'm just gonna walk up here. Watch me do my thing. And then I'm gonna give her. Another, uh, oh, I have to be here to do it. Don't Never mind. Be coy. <laughs> I, okay, so we're gonna give her some the coffee. And then, uh, let's see. Let's see. He has something going on. Let's. What does that do? I'm not your maid. Alright, we took away the damage over time. Let's end the turn. Cat Knight gets a turn. So I'm not facing him. That could be really bad. What is the prey? All right, I'm gonna move here. I have the scent. I'm trying to figure out how to take care of this guy. Let's do Twang. He'll he'll back up. Oh no, we got him. Is he out of reactions? Let's do Arc Shot then. Yeah. He, okay. This shows he's gonna go down a lot. Oh, he went down a lot. He's dead. Okay, we did it. We did it. That was domination. <laughs> All right. We got a snow globe. Uh, so what? This is a what is this? I don't know what this is. Put it. So she has. I don't know who to give this to. Looks like it, it's it's worse for both of them. So I'm gonna soon sell it. All right. So we did that level. We did like three levels of the tutorial. Let's take a look. I mean, like slashing power. Let's give him slashing power upgrade. That sounds good. So let's. I mean, what is this? Made the grade. All right. We made the grade. A letter to gamers. All right, a letter to dubious. This is hold on. What does it say? To those called gamers. That's me. Now what? Life drowns you in challenges, and yet you seek out more in games. Yes. Some would think you're seeking refuge from the world's problems. But no. Escapism is most dangerous when you actually need to escape, isn't it? <laughs> you and I both know that's not what this is. You seek these challenges because you're bored with reality, and I'm here to remedy that in one way or the other. I don't know, Who man. Who or what I am is not important. What I do is important. Mankind is an ungraded test, and I'm holding the red pen. And I will grade you on your greatest strengths, creativity and determination. You will learn that the difference between fact and fiction is the power to decide which is which. This power I grant to you, so bring your mightiest heroes, most powerful legends, saltiest streamers, and dankest memes. <laughs> I await you atop my tower. Worry All right. not. I threaten no violence. You may lose as often as you'll tolerate. However, when I win, and I will win, your creativity shall be my trophy. Without it, humanity is surely doomed to a dim end. But no pressure. After all, it's just a game. <laughs> all right, so we've completed the tutorial. And then we get stats Time at the, the end. Fight. All right, and this is our like sheet that tells us like all this stuff. That's really cool. This game is really well done. It, I'm really happy about it. I'm glad I kickstarted it. What is this? No idea. I have no idea what that was. Oh wow! We get like a an item out of here. What was it? A necklace. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, a charm. I guess. I don't really understand what's happening. I got some gold, but uh, it costs. Huh? Some sort of charm creation. I don't. I don't have enough gold to make it. How do I back out of here? 
I don't even know what we got. Huh. Alright, back to the main menu. There's gonna be stuff about games I just don't know yet until I get used to them. Oh, charms. No, that's where we just were, right? So now we get to play floor one of the I campaign. I'm here of my own will. And uh, we have a cleric, a wizard. Nothing is older than the game. But can I switch Not out characters? Pink, shall I dip? There's really no point to my. I've watched you since you learned. <laughs> Even overclocked, I am one cool computer. Is melee, short range melee. Rough. Becoming lost is this. I assure you, my rep. Les le bon temps <laughs> The demons of the wastes are only afraid of one thing. Me. Alt F4 for free gold. Anon, the internet troll. I'm bound by a vow to do no harm. My heart knows. I've been LFG for a whole minute. A stone standing. One moment I was. All right, let's use these guys. I kind of want to bring in. Can I bring in the troll instead? It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. All right, let's do this floor one really quick. <laughs> All right, normal, chill, hard. Let's just do normal. And then let's just see what this is like. This is the wizard's tower. Uh, I guess the front door. So this is like story elements. You, well, hello, come in, says Dingbat. Are you the wizard? Absolutely not, I'm merely the DRM. DRM, Dungeon Resources Manager, and I handle the tutorials as you already know. I see, so shouldn't you be out administering more tutorials? I'm like the tutorial Santa Claus. I can simultaneously teach the tutor Tutor -cher chamber or classroom and waste time here with you. Speaking of which, why are you here? Oh, right, I received this letter. You, you got an invitation? I see, the wizard must be desperate. Desperate to lose. I'm gonna climb this town or win for all of humanity. There we go. Ho, 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 don't tell anyone, but I'll be rooting for you. Now, it is my distinguished duty to welcome you to the wizard's tower. This place will put your creativity and determination to the test, yada, yada, yada. Now, it's time to dip a toe in the dungeon. You'll find the surface is pleasantly warm, but its depths will cook these little pitty piggies. All right, the dungeon. So we're going in. Two encounters. We'll just do one of these. Then hopefully you guys get a feel for the game. I don't, I think you guys should get it on Steam because eventually I'll have some sort of input in this. So I'm happy about it. I'm going to go over here. Can I? Open this chest or something? What is this? It just burns up. I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, anyway. Is there an encounter over here? There's plants. Interesting. I don't know. What's what's this? Can I go through here? Hey, there we go, an encounter. We found one. This, this game visually looks super cool. And if you're like really into these tabletop style games, this is perfect. Your first real fight, how exciting. Please don't lose. It would reflect poorly on my tutorial performance. <laughs> right, hey, while you're here, how come I can only choose three characters? I locked a couple of slots to make your first party choice easier. How considerate. Normally, you can launch with a party of one to five characters and the dungeon will scale up to compensate. But between you and me, I think three is the perfect party size. Good to know. All right, so we got the anonymous internet troll, but he goes first, so I'm gonna walk up to this imp. And then uh, I'm gonna take Claire's a little far away. I'm gonna put her like right here. And then this guy. No idea what he. Katie ratio cares about age. Oh God. Uh, then let's start the battle. We're going. We're going in close. First we fight, then we feast. So I'm gonna go with chop. I like how it. Oh wait, can I not? Is he blocking or something? But hold on. How do I use chop? Oh yeah, that's that's how. Dead. Perfect. You gotta drag up the cards. I like how they're cards and stuff. Gold, dual axe, haunt. Nah, this is in the turn. Double click. This goblin gets a turn. He's pretty close. He's gonna get the internet troll. I don't sub. I dumb. <laughs> does, does he hack? I guess his, his mom says it's bedtime. Just trolling. All right, flame post. Man, I can't do some of this stuff. All right, here we go. Kiss your body pillow, good night. <laughs> so he's, okay. I, I wanna move him back a little bit. What, you don't follow back? All right, here we go. Spider's turn, ooh. The darkness will not rise. 
All right, so she has uh, Blessed Bulwark, which is to absorb damage, I guess. Tread lightly. We'll see how that works. Let the light be your armor. That, that'll last for two turns. Here comes the maelstrom. All right, so I'm going to definitely chop this guy. Turn up your pigs. Here I come. Then he'll be able to... Yeah, he's, he's doomed. We got him. Now, the spider... I don't know what to do about the spider right now. But maybe we can do this taunting thing to him. Hold on. Can I not do it? Oh, no. I have to be right next to him. Okay, never mind. The UI is actually really good in this game. That's... I really... Okay, yeah. Flame post. Let's flame post him. Oh, hold on. Oh, he's out of range. Hold on. Let me let me walk up. Hold on. Flame post. Oh, no. Ratioed. <laughs> Ratioed. Oh, dude, he, he got hurt really bad. All right. Excellent. I actually cannot be cleaned. I'm just too dirty. <laughs> okay. You made me so proud. Now keep it up or else. So there's going to be like one more That's encounter. So this guy, this will be an actual improvement for him. And then this one will be nothing. I mean, I, I'm really impressed with the UI. Typically, when a game is like has so much complexity as this game has, I get bogged down in the UI. I can't figure out what to do. But just doing that simple tutorial, I feel like I know exactly what to do. This they did a great job on the UI, a fantastic job actually. Like, well, I don't know. I'm not just saying that because I kickstarted this game. But I mean, in a way, I'm like proud. I'm like, I'm so glad I kickstarted this game. All right, here we go. Deployment phase. So there's a bunch of puppies. Uh, so yeah, let's just send. You know, I'm gonna send him out. I love to raid. Anon is gonna go like right here. Claire is gonna go there. And then we'll orient her that way. Start the battle. So here we go. Kit. Oh, kitten knights here. Watch out. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I got him quickly. Nice, nice. That's a nice reaction. No pup gets to go. Ow. Hey man, your mom says it's bedtime. All right. Can we do flame post? Can we reach this guy? Take the L. Okay, good. Got rid of that one quick. All right, that was nice. I'll go and taunt him too. All right, there we go. Uh, end his turn. This null pup is gonna do its thing. I'm not used to all this darkness. All right. I still don't fully comprehend this absorb ability, but I think I got it. So he's gonna absorb the rest of the attacks. I, I get it already. Never mind. All right. So I'm going to attack. Uh, and chop him up. Nice. Uh, then we gotta end the turn. Is he gonna attack me? I, I, I get to absorb it though, that's great. Nice. It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. Uh, let's do another flame post. Teach him. There we go, awesome. And the graphics are great in this game too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward a little bit. I wish hackers actually wore rollerblades. <laughs> All right. Oof. The darkness will not rise. Now, smite. Can I smite? Don't go too far. Here we go. Smite. The white tree. Oh, he's not dead yet. Okay, that's okay. I love to now, if I attack from behind, is that is that better? Like, can I move here? Yeah, let's move there first. I don't know if this this is. Oh, I don't have uh, my chop ability. Darn. I guess I spent too much time moving. Flame on. Do another flame post. This guy is effective. All right, that was two encounters. Does that mean we're done, or do we still get to explore this area? Pop up is an easy game. <laughs> you tell me, paper is worth a lot in the future. <laughs> Fancy that. All right, there we go. You're gonna topple this tower in no time. So no, we still get to look around. I don't know. 
this a door? Like a storage room. Like, oh, exit level. So we're we're done, right? So that's why it's saying exit level because we we did it, right? Or hold on, let's let me just let me just continue to explore. I think so. I think that's why it says. I don't know if we can get like items and stuff from these. I still haven't quite figured or understood the item interaction with here. They just burn up when I touch them. But it looks like we, we've done it. Looks like we did it. And we got this. Uh, who do we want to give thrust to? Maybe him? I don't know. But guys, thanks for watching my uh, quick play of uh, Pop-Up Dungeon. A really cool game. I'm already like super impressed with it. If you guys, of course, want to play it, it's available on Steam. Uh, I think it's Humble as well. Uh, go go check it out because eventually I'm going to have some input on this game. V I, I get to sign like characters. Or, I think a charm. I forget what else the rewards were. I looked at the rewards briefly before I recorded. It's one of those things where I backed it a long time ago, then kind of just forgot about it. Like I knew the developers. I I think they they were the ones who did Ring Runner, I believe. And I, I kind of knew the developers a little bit, not not like personally, but I, but I, I had done videos and stuff uh, showcasing their games before, and uh, ultimately, you know, this was a good choice to back this game. This is really well fleshed out, really good looking. Can I roll? I don't know what is this? An impasse. There's so much more to do, but uh, and of course, we didn't even touch upon the customization aspect of this. We didn't even touch upon like the level creation, all that kind of stuff, the game mode creation. Uh, so, wow. Wow. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.